<laughs> live it is. You can't change your mind now. You're going live. That's it? It's it. You did it. Wow, my voice is cracking, apparently. Why? I don't know. What'd you do to it? Nothing. Except for everyone's sick at our house all of the time. Well. Forever and ever. You know, you know how that goes. So we're not in the shop. Where are we? This is the, the new shop. No, it's the not. The temporary new shop. We're actually almost sitting where we could sort of sit in the near future. This is in the middle of the breakfast nook, only we were faced the wrong way. Which is kind of weird to think You about. are in the breakfast room. This right. is the breakfast room. So I'd be like sitting here. Adjacent to the sun room, which starts at your back. Yeah, right here. Currently. Pancake gets very upset about this. She's like, we're she's, not in the shop. She's not into this. So. Where's all my shop stuff? Right. So today, it is Lent. For anyone who's not Catholic, and I think some Lutherans also do Lent, um, which means I'm not drinking because uh, I give up drinking for Lent. So I'm making what I drank in college, um, my non-alcoholic thing that I loved, which is 7-Up. I know this is right, but I think all of white soda is 7-Up. And then you mix it with orange juice. It's basically like a mimosa, but, you know, not. It's really good. Who's here? You're here. All right. Oh, Scott's here. I haven't seen Scott for a while. So Matt's drinking... Just There's Alan. Alan. Alan's here too. Mm -hmm. Mark, Jacob. Mm -hmm. So that's how you make that. Palani. Also, if you want to be wild, put a little like fruit punch in it and or lemonade. Real good. All right. I like this one. Welcome. Technically, technically we're in the breakfast club. I like that. Welcome to the breakfast club. Mm -hmm. You have arrived. And this is true. This is a N.A. mimosa. Is basically what it is. Yeah, sort of. Yeah, definitely. Not sort of. 100% is. Matt remembers, because remember in college, I used to make you go to Taco Bell. That was nothing like this. It is just like this almost. No. That was the mixture of like eight different sodas. It was a gross concoction. It was of garbage. Just, I didn't want him to buy like tacos. I wanted him to go and just get me this pop that was like orange pop and lemonade and 7-Up. So it's this. It's just instead of there orange pop, it's orange. Too. No. There were a lot of other things in that too. <laughs> I remember it's you, delicious. You sit at the machine, you did this. All the way across. Yeah, like a little bit of everything. No. There was and no like, this is the grossest thing ever. There was little, no brown pop. Little Baja blast in there. No, you did not do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what is new? Big announcement. I like this from Andy. If you leave the orange juice in the fridge long enough, it ferments. <laughs> yeah, so I can I mean technically, yes. Yeah. Turns into alcoholic. That would work. Mm-hmm. So but Matt, mm. what beer are you drinking? This is we do farm girl, farm yeah. girl. So what does that mean? What is that? I don't know what that means. I mean, it's the same in the beer. Mm -mm. It's a local beer, from Cliff Bridge. Yeah, from many from Stillwater. Yes, mm -hmm. Stillwater, all the way from down the road. Yeah, into town. They have like two rooms now. I think as the have... locals say. Yeah. Because we're country folk now. Are you now? I don't know. That's what people say because we're like okay. out in the country or something. I guess it is weird though to think like. Yeah, growing up, I used to just play with the kids next door. And I'm like, oh, our kids can't do that. It makes me sad. But it was just like, we went outside and then you found kids. They can go like, find some like deer. <laughs> not or, the same. Like squirrels. It's not the or same. Raccoons. I don't know if I want my kids playing with raccoons. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Go, they get some trout. Let's move in. All right, so what's this big announcement you are all pumping up? We have chair kids again. Oh, yeah. For now. Right. For now. <laughs> they sell out again, mm -hmm. which is actually happening quickly. Mm -hmm. So there's that. So if you're waiting for chair kits, mm -hmm. go check the site sooner or later. Which ones do you have? Like all of them or just some of them? Um, I got almost all of them back. And then a lot of them sold pretty quickly. I am almost out of style four and walnut mm -hmm. again. Um, but all of style three is back in stock. Okay. Uh, what is style three? That, that means nothing triple, to me. Triple black slat. Okay. If you go on the website, it's all there. You know, there's that. I mean, I figured as much, but you know. Style 2 provide is... Provide more visual. Almost hold out 2. With well. Style 2, is that the flat black one? That's 4. Oh, it's 4. Style 2 is 5 mm -hmm. back slats. With yep. the square mm -hmm. butt area. What do you want to call that? <laughs> seat. Booty seat? <laughs> the square frame seat area. Butt area. Style 2 is their beginner. <laughs> beginner? I don't know. I don't want to like... I hate labels on things, but it's a little more simpler. Streamlined? Sure. I don't know. Less 
When I think, instead of saying, because I never, like, as a lawyer, I never want to say, like, this is going to be easy, because then if it's not, because something weird <laughs> That's happens, what I worry about. people are like, it's not easy. I always say more streamlined or more straightforward, because then yeah, I'm you like... You see a lot of corporate jargon stuff a lot of the time, I hear you saying. I don't say, I don't think I say any. A lot. On the phone, when you're, <laughs> no. like, when you're like, doing calls. No. It's like corporate no. blah. No. But you, I say straightforward or more streamlined, so you don't say easy, because then... If it's not easy and people don't lose it on you and say like I thought this would take ten seconds and it's now five hours, you know. Okay, well, as so far as, as far as style two goes, the frame is all square joinery. Mm-hmm. There's no angled joinery in the frame, so it's easier to clamp up and put together. So that's good. All right. So you're excited about chair kits? I am. Mm-hmm. I am. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Except for. You have to then go to the um, warehouse to uh, to ship them, but that's good. I did that this week, though. I, I got is. pretty much all caught up on every order that came in. Oh, I love this. Okay. From Polani. Two days of shipping. Any tips on how to convince my fiance that we desperately need your chair kits for our future <laughs> dining table? I don't have any. Yeah, you don't have any either. So, so how can I convince you to make us some? But let me hear. Hear your pitch. Let's hear your elevator pitch. I don't know. I got it pretty easy with you. So <laughs> I don't know if I'm the best person to give advice mm-hmm. on this because normally it's just like, you're like, yeah, do whatever you want, Matt. I would, no, that's not even remotely accurate, but <laughs> <laughs> depending on what it is, I suppose. <laughs> I would say you can tell her um, or him great, great news. You can now brag to all your friends and family that I made the seats that they're sitting in. And that's a and the pretty, table. and the table. And that's a pretty good brag. I would say people will be like, that's super cool. But be warned, then everyone will be like, hey, you're handy. Can you make me XYZ? Chairs, and then you can order more. I suppose. And then you can upsell them, <laughs> and then you'll make money. We have some people doing that. Yeah, I mean, why not? They've had decent, mm-hmm. oh, and these pretty good um, mm-hmm. success with that. So they reordered a few times, mm-hmm. making them for their table customers. Right. Which is pretty cool. Mm-hmm. So that's what I would do. Because... Just do it? No, because I think significant others like to brag about their other so, significant other. You can be so proud of me. Well, no. you right? can no, what you're saying. That too. No, but I'm saying that they can like then brag about you. So you get to be like, look at my other half. They're pretty awesome. They made this. And yeah, then it reflects there, well on you. You're over there slumming it with, you know, Jerry or whoever. <laughs> Doug. <laughs> Couldn't build a chair if you wanted to. <laughs> but mine. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> but you don't, like my mother always told me, you're judged by the company you keep. And you can go, I keep oh, no. pretty good company. Oh, no. <laughs> That's true. Should I be worried? You should be, because you're judged by me. I'm going to say, like, I'm worried about you, because, like, I'm around you a lot. <laughs> the company you keep, like, you know, your spouse. Yeah, I know. That you keep around I keep for some reason. This one around. I know. I know. All right. I want to see if you know the answer to this question. I don't. I'm sure you don't. From Green Hair 81. <laughs> Interesting name. <laughs> What's the deal with the bird cages on the top shelf of the great room? Just decor, staying or going? You have great observational skills. I was going to say it's not from this video because that's over there that way. That's what I'm saying. I know. We'll They're see. from our wedding. I, you did know? I can't believe that. You can't believe that? <laughs> you remembered. Yeah, I thought you were just going to say, Lindsay just put them up. She did. <laughs> I mean, that's also true. <laughs> But they were decor from our wedding. We had a bird theme. Not really a theme. Undertone bird theme. Undertone, yeah. <laughs> our, our, our cake topper were true little birds because Matt and I, if I do this, he does do it. What are you doing? Bleh. That's not. That's not, <laughs> that's not what. No. I couldn't do it. I do this. A little, like a little birdie. A little birdie eating. It's just, I don't know why we do that. Um, so then. I was young and dumb. No, you're fun. It's silly little things like that, I feel like, that keep, like, a relationship fun. But anyway, so uh, the top of our cake were two little birds kissing, which are also in there. And then uh, we had the bird cages to put in the wedding cards, and then we had just a couple others around to, like, make it seem like it wasn't, why do you have a random bird cage? And then, actually, our gift, God, we did have a lot of bird themes on I think. I told it. you that. <laughs> because they had our, little nests. Yeah, we had nests. With the eggs. For, so it's an Italian wedding, so you have to give out Jordan almond. You don't have to. Give out Jordan Ammons. It's better. Traditional. Come on, do it right. <laughs> so we got blue ones, even though I think you're supposed to have white. So I think your mother was like, you are cheating a little bit. Um, so we did that. We put that. And then we had for the centerpieces as well were these big bird nests. And it had our initials on little wood. And then I forgot what I put it on. No. Junk. Knickknacks. So, I don't know. Yeah. 
So that's what that is. But you have excellent. So that was decor. Yeah, excellent. Which, which we need to get rid mm-hmm. of because that mm-hmm. whole area is going. Right. Probably this week. So a bunch of people have asked this. Uh oh. Where is it? Where's Donovan? Where's Donovan? Is he paid to participate in the workshop happy hour? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, like last week we were just kind of he was here, mm-hmm. but we were still rocking and rolling, so we didn't stop. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we didn't we didn't have one. Yeah. We typically, if he's here, we don't have one because they're working, and he lives not close. No. So you want to make the most out of his time. Yeah, and usually, and a lot of times, honestly, for whatever reason, it's like Friday afternoon is when things start coming together, mm-hmm. and things actually like are going smoothly for some reason. Finally. Right. So like, well, let's not stop because it's finally, it's finally happening. We finally reached like some kind of smooth sailing thing, whatever you want to call that. You know, at the very last minute. Yeah, well, I, it's a Friday thing. Like, even before this, I, I feel like every Friday, I'll get a rush thing around 3 o'clock. And then I might be like, we may not do this because I have to get X, Y, and Z out. And yeah, that was the other thing. I think, I forgot what video was on, but someone was asking about the happy hours and why we're not doing them as often. I'm like, it's just scheduling has been difficult Yeah, to get both of us together at the same time. But yeah, I think he would. I think he'd have fun doing a happy hour. Oh, that's, that was a suggestion? Make him do it? Not make him, but like, does he want to do I feel like people <laughs> like Donovan. They'd like to get his insight of, you know. I'll, we'll, we'll see how this next Friday goes, because he'll be here next week. Okay. And we'll see where things are at. Mm-hmm. Next week, guess what we're doing? I don't know. We're starting the third edition. I don't know what that means. We're finally doing another edition. What are you talking about, for real? We're doing this edition, this one here. That's the smallest edition. Oh, they're pushing out to make a little bay window? Yeah. Okay. Explain it's that. Not technically, it's not technically a bay window because the bay window is like the floor doesn't extend into the bay. To me, that's what it means. It's a small bump out. We're making a whole room for the sideboard. That's how elaborate this is. Okay. That, that's not <laughs> what we're doing. <laughs> that's how much we love my pieces of furniture. We give them their own room. Not even remotely. Accurate. I can't wait to put the high board room on this house. <laughs> That's never happened. <laughs> <It's>... God. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> I just, eh, well, you know. No, we need more room in that room. We're adding 10 square feet to the dining room for the sideboard. No, I wanted a bay window. Also that. And but you also like... wanted a bay window. I think that's what started it. And then I was like, let's just run with this. And also we need to, I know already in the dining room, we're going to put that piece in because it's my probably like second favorite thing he's ever made. So possibly first. I don't know what my first is right now. I think. I don't know. I know you don't know. I know what you like. Oh my goodness. You like all kinds of things depending on the day. That's, that's the biggest truth. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. Here's a question from Zach. Hi, Matt. My uncle has a sawmill, and I help go with him every chance I get and throw water on the slab. <laughs> He's probably like, what are you doing? He's like, why? It is awesome. Knock it off. <laughs> it is awesome because um, he introduced me to your channel. Oh, that's cool. Love your channel. Uh, man, you guys take care. Oh, that's super Thank you. funny. <laughs> like well, I'm glad your uncle understands. Yeah, he's like, I get that. Because mm-hmm. most people would be like, what the heck? Get well, back to work. <laughs> stop playing with water. You silly person. I know. This isn't supposed to be fun. We're working mm-hmm. here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Put your bucket away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like this too. This is from Jonathan. I love listening to your live chats. I'm a driver for UPS, so I love driving and listening to your milling videos. LOL. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> That's fun. Okay, U- UPS is pretty good to us. Yeah. The drivers, at least around here. Yeah, because I have to go up a long driveway. So it's <laughs> yeah, then like... They have to go pick up the chair kit orders from the warehouse. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's yeah. a pallet. Because I never send a dock truck. I always tell them to send a dock, tr- a dock truck. So I guess, because I have them all on a pallet mm-hmm. or multiple pallets. Mm-hmm. I can just like put them on the truck for them. But right. no, they send the regular van. Oh, geez. Which is not dock height either. So you're like out of a loading dock down into a van. Mm-hmm. 60 pound boxes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> pallet loads of them. Oh. But they never complain. No, they haven't. Hey, do you know this? I'm going to have to ask Matt's mother. She'll probably know. What is the purpose of the almonds in an Italian wedding? They each mean something like prosperity, longevity. Delicious. Delicious. <laughs> Protein. <laughs> sustenance. I don't know. No, they each, each of the five means something because we had the poem. Um, there's five of them? Yeah, there's five. That I know for sure. 
like and they each, different colors? No, no, no. You you do five Jordan Amens and each means something. And we had a poem that, you know, said, here's what they mean. And one was for like, for sure, like longevity and like one for health. It's for like the things you want in marriage and for human beings in general, you know, happiness, prosperity, that stuff. But I don't remember all of them. I didn't even know it was a thing. I mean, you probably did in 2011, but not anymore. I don't know. There was, a, there was a lot going on then. Yeah. Get married, buy a house, all that fun stuff. Buy a joiner. Buying a joiner. You're right. We should put that first. <laughs> Buying a joiner. I mean, the rest is noise. It's actually cause... scary how long I've had that thing now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, funny. Um, all right. This is from um, Brooks. Hey, Matt, have you whittled away that monster tree yet? What monster tree? You have to give more context clues. Matt is unsure. Uh, there's a lot of monster trees. I don't... Oh, are there? I mean, what about the... It, well, because the big, the big, big... Of the cherry tree? That one? Yeah, Maybe. probably. It's it's frozen. To the ground. Yeah, and to the other logs right now. <laughs> I cut up that one kind of big crotch last fall. Mm-hmm. Um, that's it from that tree. Uh, what else is here? Got that's a... probably that one. So what is your... Do you have any plans for what you're going to do with that one? Cut the cherry out. tree? Get it cut. Uh-huh, get uh-huh. it stickered. And then what? Uh, I'm keeping it forever. Are you really keeping it all or you're selling it? No, I'm not selling any of it. You're not? Why? It's too, it's just too much. You are know? you kidding? No. <laughs> what? Why are you going to, there's a lot of wood. What are you going to make? Are you going to make a whole house? I with have it? the rest of my life <laughs> to use this historic tree. Okay. So like, what, do you have plans? Uh, I'm going to make a Bombay chest. Okay. Actually, I'm planning. I'm gonna make three of them. Mm-hmm. Um, one, like because you make doubles as, of everything. As soon as I, one, as soon as I can, <laughs> it'll be the worst one. Okay. One in like ten years, it'll be eh, and one in thirty years, and it should be pretty good. Why? Oh, why are they hard to make? Yes. Okay. And then, where are they all living? I'm not worried about that. Oh, we'll make rooms not. for them. Don't worry. <laughs> We're gonna make their own separate <laughs> rooms. <laughs> I was thinking maybe like um, like museum huts throughout the property, like uh-huh, a walking tour. Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't I, know. I have too much time to think about this stuff. About that stuff, not other things, but that <laughs> yes, that things I'm that aren't useful, on. yeah, or necessary. Uh huh. Oh man. Okay. Speaking of you know things you're planning, I'm from, planning a lot of things. All right, from Gary, beautiful couple. Oh, thanks. Love your furniture, Matt. What would be your all-time favorite item you've made? And it's either from Canada or Europe because there's a U. Context clues. Or anywhere that speaks English besides America. Oh, well, I didn't know that. So now I just learned something. I thought it was just those two places. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> He's not American. It's my context clue. <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> or he does, or I guess because you are American and you could still spell it with a U. I'm anyway. Too much work. Mm-hmm. All right. Extra keystrokes. Um. Psh- Let's say, I'll say sideboard today. Okay, so what is that? Mr. Crotch board. Okay. It's got the, all the crotch, sequential crotch panels. I still like that one a lot. And that's the one that we're gonna, we made a separate room for. <laughs> but honestly, it's probably, I don't know. For some reason, I think I put another one ahead of it as my favorite. Oh, the what? duh. Duh. What? The vanity. The duh. Of course, that's my favorite piece. The other thing I made. That, no, but I remember forever, I was like, that one's my favorite. The sideboard is my favorite. I always think it's a cyborg, <laughs> what you're saying, too, which I enjoy. But then I was like, no, it's second. What's first? But now it's the van. It's the best. That one's the best one you've made. No love for the serpentine chest? It's not. I mean, to me, it's considered not even done, even though. It's done. It is done. It's just in my way because, like, Matt we has We have a it, final place yet. Yeah. It, he has it, it sitting there. It needs our, a place to live. It's, like, in front of our mirror, so I can't even, like, see how I look in the morning. And... <laughs> You look amazing. It also, it's kind of crazy. Our bedroom is set up so that there are lights that you can't see here all over around our bed. It looks kind of weird. And it's because he's taking pictures oh, of the those, things. Those lights, yeah. 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 But it studio has, lights. He has studio lights all over our bedroom. Yeah. But if anyone walked in and didn't know what Matt was doing, they'd be like, why is your bedroom set up for a studio? It looks weird. Oh, you know. Yep. Just making videos. Yeah, that's what it looks like. And I'm like, I was. Can you get rid of these? <laughs> oh, look. It's Nick Van Eyck. He says, 
says, hey, hello. Hey, hello. Well, I mean, don't say that. But... Oh, hello. Mm -hmm. Yes. So who is Nick? Nick is my roommate person. He's still your college. roommate? Oh. <laughs> yeah, still. He, we still live together. He's my roommate in here. He shares <laughs> all of this with me. All of your heart? Yes. <laughs> Oh, funny. Oh, wait. Where is it? I've been harding stuff, and now i got to go find them. They're right there. I did. The whole section for them. I did. I did it. Oh. Um, oh, this is a good one. From Alan, I cannot wait for the Saturday home video update. Oh, perfect, because in the link in the description of this video is the link to the next video, as always, I feel <laughs> maybe, like. Maybe you didn't know that. That's a fun surprise. I know it's a fun surprise, but I'm waiting for people to actually, like, I don't know if anyone's caught on to that yet. Let me see if anybody ever actually looked at it yet. Well... Yeah. If anyone found it by accident. I don't know if by accident, but anyone who's watched this before might know. Well, nope, six people did. Yeah, see? So there's that. Mm -hmm. But yes, tomorrow's video is linked below. Which one is it? It is the Friday that we were in here, when my parents were here. Oh, and I was super sick, so yeah. I have no idea what happened. Uh-huh. We yeah. didn't do much. Not much yeah. got done that day. Yeah. And ever since that day, we all are like sick forever, apparently. It kind of is unfortunate. All right, where is it? There's another one. Okay, this is a woodworking one, so let's see if you still know how to woodwork. No. I'm in the What's process the of cutting parts for my rubolo. Yeah, that's the, the desk top name. The, I know what it is. It's the thing we sit Rubo. on. Rubo. 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 Whatever. Rubo. What's your opinion on use of crotch wood for the leg vice chop? Do it. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. It's... It doesn't affect like the stability at all. Now, that thing is so thick. I mean, if you're going to make it the same thickness as you're supposed to, mm -hmm. I wouldn't really worry about it. Okay. Go for it. Just do it. Right. Okay. And if you break it, make another one. Be a woodworker. <laughs> really? That's like your advice? <laughs> don't value your time. Just keep making the same thing over and over again. I don't think it's a new problem. No? You don't? No. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're clamping wood. You're not clamping, like, Holy steel crap. parts or something. This is crazy. What? A super chat. Huh? From Rydstrom, I love the content and the zen feel you show in woodworking. It makes me imagine the off-camera chaos and frustration that hits the cutting room floor. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Keep up the good work. Although, Thank I, will, you. I do not think that you... Um, what? Me? I feel like you've trained yourself not to like swear that you have to cut that out. I get that... Because I, I can now yeah, hear them. I don't do much of the cursing thing. Mm -hmm. Not a whole lot. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Just things don't really bother me. I kind of, I kind of figured out that like nothing I say will make the situation any better. <laughs> Didn't I just fix it and get it down and get over with it? Yeah. I don't know. Me being upset is not going to make the situation better. I'd say that you're someone who I think you are either like super zen for real, like about stuff, or you have zero chill. Oh. There is no middle ground for this man. I'm not very middle. No, he is not. So, like, things that he's not zen about are kids being loud. They're very loud. <laughs> so, I'm old now. Yeah, he is like that old man. But this is a super generous super chat. Forty nine ninety nine. That's what, ridiculous. Really? Oh, yes. Four ninety nine. No. Wow. Um, yeah. Well, thank you. Super nice. That's too nice. A lot. Man does not deserve that nice. I don't. <laughs> so, <laughs> in the slightest. Maybe he'll use it to cut his hair. <laughs> Everyone uh, wants him to do probably that. Probably like next month. I got another. It's still cold out. Yeah, I did even tell him I like long hair, and even I was like, "You're starting to look a little like rough around the edges, buddy." You, know, you, you thought I was a little weakling, so I'm a little rougher. That. You know, roughen me up a little bit <laughs> from, oh. from the streets and stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, right? Um, oh, I like this, and I think you have an answer to this. Uh oh. I mean, it's like a video. From Jacob, what is your favorite way to sharpen a chisel? He's from America. Oh, there's no, no you? There's no you. That's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just so you know. <laughs> so speak American English so he gets it. <laughs> so he knows what you're saying. Okay, good. I'll, I'll try to, you know, use all American style words. <laughs> Say, hey, dude. And things. <laughs> all right, my brother. Um, <laughs> is that what the kids are saying these days? I don't. Our kids are too young. They, they just say, can I get a switch? Can I get a switch? <laughs> yeah. yeah, apparently that's the, that's the new thing. Yes. Can I get a switch? Yes. Um, fair way of sharpening a chisel would be to uh, prolong that process as long as possible to like not have to sharpen as often. So I strop my chisels as I'm working to keep them sharp, and that maintains the edge as you go. So you're just constantly just kind of bringing the edge back to kind of a refreshed. 
type of thing mm -hmm. versus if you don't do that and you just do these stones, you're just kind of on this slope of sharpness. Mm -hmm. And eventually you get down here somewhere, you're like, yeah, I got sharpened now. And it's not as much fun. Um, so I use water stones, but uh, any kind of stones really work. It's I think you've been asking that. I do. It's really old. I probably looked really young in that video. Uh, I was like, ask Matt number two. Someone's fact check him on that. If you, I mean, you have memories on like really good, like random stuff he remembers like perfect. I think it was so. two. Five is the, sure. the dull one. The dull one, what does that mean? I didn't have like a super dull burned up edge mm -hmm. to, to sharpen and do a demonstration though. So I purposely like beat the crap out of a chisel mm. to get it all beat up. Right. And then brought it back from that. Mm. And that's one of my most popular videos. I don't know why. It's got like almost 2 million views. I think people need to know how to do that stuff, sharpen their stuff. Yeah, but it's like a dull one where I like... Yeah, but most people have dull ones. I mean, I guess. I think that's fair. Out of all the things I've done. I tell him all the time. Well, not for a long time, but I used to tell him all the time. <laughs> I used to tell him things. I don't even bother Make anymore. more Ask Matt's because people like them and I think those are useful. They are historically mm -hmm. the most views. Yeah. So there's that. There is that. Fine, I'll do more. Uh, this okay on the record, everyone heard it. Anyone here can suggest topics, and I will do them all. Wow. Really interested to see the the thoughts that people have. Oh, it's good. You have until this terminates to put it in, but you have to put it in a comment, not in this chat, but in the actual video, because otherwise it's <laughs> after it posts. After yeah. it's like lost, you know, it's too hard to find because the chat's different. On you know. I will do it. I'll do my best to answer these questions. Yeah, but what's your time frame? Because otherwise we'll be in 10 years. Well, here's the thing. <laughs> Next time Brad's here, uh -huh. we'll just shoot like 10 of them. Okay. But then when will you edit them? Well, Brad will edit them, so it'll be his, his thing to deal with. <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> I like having Brad around. Just to kind of <laughs> put oh, it off on Brad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so put it in the, the comments below. God, I sound like a YouTuber. You are. You're on the... Th yeah, you're but I'm there. not. I mean, I'm not. So... Oh, yeah. Once removed or something, right? Yeah, I guess. Um, oh, this is a great one because we're sitting in the kitchen. Sort of. Well, yeah. I mean, we are. Um, we are. I think I remember Matt saying he was building the cabinets for your future kitchen. Are you planning on buying a sharpener to assist in the cabinet making? Sharpener. Oh, shaper. 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 Sorry. It's like sitting in I Yes and no. Explain. Yes, I will be building all the cabinets. No, I'm not going to buy a shaper because I don't really need one for the, uh, mm -hmm. the cabinet style we're making. It's mm -hmm. all flat panel. Okay. And that's about it. Mm -hmm. The only thing I really need a shaper for would be raised panels. Okay. Which we're not doing. So don't need a shaper. Plus, I'm still kind of playing around with like, what, what I want to do. Like? Not how they're going to look, but like the how style of... Look? construction I want to do or like how do I, do I want to like go crazy and use all the fancy things to make it easy or do I want to make it like this is how you do it with normal tools oh like so other people for the videos are more useful so they can like recreate it yeah because it's like you don't have to buy I'm kind of playing around with that where that fine line balances mm -hmm. so I don't know I don't even know what they're going to look like they're just boxes okay they're right here uh, no, 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 that's all. Don't touch yeah, but, this. But I don't know, like, is it got, like, a panel, you know? It, this, you saw all the pictures. We have this fight a lot. That, no, I didn't. They're really right here. Yeah. They're right here. Mm -hmm. They're all flat panel. I don't know what that means. They're all flat panel inset doors and drawers. Mm -hmm. I don't know they are. Mm -hmm. It's one of those pages. Okay. Uh, still things that, that are gibberish. Perfect. For, from? This is what I need. D-line P2. I'm going to make them again. You might. Did you switch to Milwaukee drills? Donovan didn't seem to like them. <laughs> I don't know what that means. That's our new, like, shtick. <laughs> okay, what's that? Uh, he says he doesn't like the red tools. Why? Because they're mine. That's it. <laughs> what are his? Green? Uh, they're yellow. What are yellow? I don't even know what the brand that is. A DeWalt. Hmm. I know that brand. Yeah. Okay. It's just one of those things like you buy the, the batteries. Oh, and like you're stuck with that brand for everything, unless you want to deal with multiple brands' batteries. So for mm -hmm. efficiency's sake, 
you try and keep the brands as because they don't concise interconnect. as possible. That's correct. Because yeah. of course they're like, why would we want to make it easy? Yeah. You only can use our stuff for everything now. Yeah, it's about, like the yeah. framing nail he has is not very good. <laughs> like it's not good. Yep. At all. Mm-hmm. Um, everyone tells us the Milwaukee's better, which is probably true, but the advantage that the Walt nailer has is that it's compatible with all the other batteries. Oh, so that's just that it. he has already. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you have a nailer? I swear to God, you do. Not for that, no. Oh, okay. Okay, you just have like a random nailer gun. Yeah, for like molding and trim. Okay. Not for nailing buildings together. I don't know. I don't know what you... Shoes the big ones, you know, like the ones that'll kill you ones. No, okay. No, no. I don't want you to own one of those. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So this is related to Donovan. How did you find him? Questions about Donovan. Well, it's kind of fun. How did you find Donovan? Finding a good contractor is super difficult. Donovan found me. Mm-hmm. He just stalked him. He was just like, hey, dude. He did. He found me on the internet. Yeah. Uh, five years ago? Six mm-hmm. years ago? Mm-hmm. Something along those lines. He saw my post of picking up a white oak log mm-hmm. from that pile mm-hmm. when I was taking Jared with me. Okay. When you were uh, working. You mean at uh, you were still Lake work. Elmo? Yes. I still work, yeah. So I took a picture. Those are person. I took a picture of the log on the trailer in front of whatever stores over there by the Oak Park Heights Water Tower. Mm-hmm. They saw a label. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, he was following me for some time. It's like, oh, he's around here somewhere. That's somewhere. how he found out I was local. Yeah. And then he had that tree removed in his backyard. So he contacted me to cut it up or whatever. So if you go back and watch my, actually my turning on the sawmill the first time video, he's in that video. Really? Oh, that's right. Like, I remember some random dude came over. That was him. He's the random dude <laughs> that showed up that day. If you watch the load testing video that I did on the sawmill, he's in that video too. I cut up all the limbs from his tree. If you watch my chainsaw mill versus band sawmill video, he's in that too for cutting up the trunk of his tree <laughs> in that video. Um, that's crazy. Yeah. And if you go on his channel, he's got... I think eight videos on that tree, mm-hmm. and I'm in one of them. Actually, I'm in multiple. I'm in almost yeah. all of them, actually. And we've been on his boat because he sails. And we've been on his boat. He has a sailboat, and he like races. He does race boats. Yeah, he does. He has a lot of like interesting. And no one asked this, but let me tell you, <laughs> Donovan's name was spelled wrong for like a good chunk of his life. He didn't know how to spell his name. Like his mom spelled it different. So, it was different than his birth certificate. Or yes. Something. Yeah. So that's why I think he spells it now what his birth certificate name is, right? Yeah, with an A. The, with an A, which feels wrong. <laughs> There's two A's in Donovan's name. <laughs> so, yeah. What else do you want to know about Donovan? <laughs> yeah, what else? Is Donovan, he's clearly not even watching because he, he can't his, defend himself. His favorite so cookie ask, is white chocolate macadamia. Fact, yes. Yep. Mm-hmm. Always get, I, got, I get those all the time for him. Mm-hmm. Make sure he's fueled up on cookies. That's the one thing he taught me. What's cookie time? <laughs> cookie time. What the hell is that? <laughs> Do you film this? What? Cookie time? Yeah. I mean, most of the, we have cookie time like every day. So it's like, it depends on the day. Mm-hmm. So if like it's three o'clock and you're having a really good day and things are really productive, you get a cookie. Mm-hmm. If it's 11 o'clock in the morning and everything's going to crap and you don't know what you're going to do next, you, you just have a cookie. You get a cookie. Okay. So you have cookie time. <laughs> <laughs> There's flexibility in what you need to qualify it's like, for. Either like a good thing or a bad thing. You mm-hmm. know, it's like a good thing makes a good thing better. Yep. Or like a good thing makes a bad thing better. Mm-hmm. That's that's what I've learned. It's cookie time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know. That's that's it. That's it. Now we okay. So that's what, if I've learned anything, it's cookie time. <laughs> <laughs> if you've learned, I've learned not very much from Donovan, <laughs> but I have learned about cookie time. Please it's ignore all about, it's everything. All the things that matter, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Highlight the big things, right? This is a big deal. <laughs> oh i love it that's funny we do have like cookies everywhere in our house now and i have like hide them from our kids because they're just like they're for us yeah and i was like they're no. for cookie time i'm like those are donovan's you cannot eat them because you can't live on sugar but watch me they seem to pre- yeah they're like yes i can <laughs> you don't know me well enough Mom. yeah i'll do um, what i want oop i got we got our first oh my he is here, Cookie. Oh. <laughs> now he can defend himself. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, let's see. If you want anything to know about more about Donovan, he is right there. Is. That is him. And if you click his probably name, you could probably find his channel. 
I think. Should I be able to do that, yeah. I don't know what I'm Definitely go over there and check that out. He is doing a series on uh, kitchen cabinets right now. Mm-hmm. That's what he's working on right now. Yeah. Before he mm-hmm. comes back here again. He's trying to get that job. Project cleaned up. A little more further along mm-hmm. before coming back here. Before starting the third edition. <laughs> and starting episode 29. That's crazy. Yeah, we're on 29 now this week. Yeah, and as you see, things need to get done. <laughs> like, we're not at the end. You're in like... We're only in the beginning. I was like, yeah, you're st- I would say in the first quarter. Oh, yeah. So. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, what time is it here? It's 10 to 11 night at night in Scotland. What? It is almost 5 p.m. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Matt's uncle's from Scotland. Oh, yeah. I don't know where. I don't know where he's from. But he has a cool accent, and he's really nice. Scottish. He is Scottish, yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's my bad accent. How was that one? Yeah. Pretty good. Jim can yell at you later. Yeah, yeah, he probably will. From Andy, we need to see Donovan shop. I don't know if he has a shop, like, tour. Go to his channel. Does he? Watch his videos on, in his shop. <laughs> you will <laughs> Where see. Where he's doing something in then his you shop. you see it. <laughs> I don't know if he... Did a shop. I mean, I feel like he that might was have a had thing. one. He has one where he um, extended the shop. He added on to it an addition. Mm-hmm. You know, his favorite thing, additions. <laughs> <laughs> he put an addition on his shop. I don't know if it's a, if he has a shop tour, but he's got mm-hmm. a few videos of like things in the shop, right, and stuff. Mm-hmm. He has a trailer tour. Mm-hmm. You can see his tools trailer. Mm-hmm. We shot that last fall. Mm. That was fun. Oh yeah, that's right. It's, like that. has, it's here. Yeah, I remember that. In our driveway. Mm-hmm. I guess it's coming soon. Um, all right. We got some we're getting close to the end. Oh, all right. We have a lawyer question. Let's see if Matt knows the answer. Lawyer question? Why do they put Esquire at the end of a lawyer's name? Why? Yeah. For the title? I would say to be pretentious, but like, <laughs> honestly, I don't know if there's a real reason, except for in lieu of calling us doctors, because like... Lawyers have a doctorate, but they don't call us doctors. They call us esquires. I don't know. Probably has to do with, like, in England, they wore wigs. They still do, I think, wear wigs. It's a barrister. No, but, yeah, they're because they have in a law and an equity. In, in America, we just do both. One. You're no, I don't know. In any case. Blame the British. There you go. <laughs> I don't know if that's Darn. really the British. Is. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> so, oh, this no is a good answer. question I also would like to know the answer of. Oh, good. From Tom. Is there a target for the remodeling completion? Our farm house built went 10 months. Oh, whoa. That's about what it will be. Is it? And yeah. what does that mean? What does that entitle? You'll have a kitchen. A capsule. So it's going to be much longer than 10 months because what's going to happen is the spot we're sitting in right now, this will hopefully be done by the end of summer. Yeah. But what it means is then we'll have a house with two kitchens, and that's weird. Yeah, that'd be like a month to get rid of the rest of that. Yeah, so then they have to do that. So it'd be like 11 months probably. But then they have to do the floors. Is That's that included? all part of that, yeah. Okay. So I guess 11 months. Yeah. Probably. Mm-hmm. Something like that. Mm-hmm. Somewhere around there. Somewhere around know. there. Holy heck. I'm not so in a rush. From Jason, I binged your remodel series in two days. Great content. Woof, that's a lot. That's impressive. That is quite a bit. Mm-hmm. But hey. That is more. And there's more. And you You're got not done. one to watch. You're not done. There's one right down below. Yeah, tomorrow's. <laughs> <laughs> um, Next week's gonna be even like crazier because it's just me trying to pull a floor out of here. Remember oh that? my gosh! And that was. Remember that? Me trying <sighs> to take the floor out. That's terrible for everyone involved. Yeah, I know. Mm-hmm. It was horrible. Yes. Yeah, it was not fun. And, and it wasn't good when like Donovan came and helped with it with the jackhammer thing because after that we're like, yeah, I'm so sore. And I can't do anything. The fun part, they have to do that again because... Uh, we do. Yeah. I'm not looking forward to that either. For some reason... It's going to be way worse. The floor in the entryway is the same as the floor in the kitchen. Here's hoping they did a, a shoddy job they in the did. kitchen. You can tell from the basement. <laughs> oh. The thin sets down between the boards so you can see it. They did really they glued job. it down. Okay. Yeah. It's the same thing. So. It's going to be horrific. Yeah. Oh, it was so bad. The dust was so bad. That yeah. blue that was like slate dust. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's like... It's heinous. It's like this fine brown black dust. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Kill you. Mm-hmm. No gusto. No gusto. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No, but it'll be fun. 
Oh, to be won't. over with. Oh, that part be fun, yeah. I'll be happy because that floor to me is like the devil because <laughs> it's not flat at all. And it's so, a split face. So then when the kids eat a cookie, let's just say, or bread or any, oh, cookie time. literally like any food actually, they just go like this and it goes <laughs> everywhere. And I was like, these people who picked it like definitely didn't have kids or, you know, I, they didn't. But like, yeah, no. They must have never spilled. They must have been such good eaters and very clean because if you spill anything well, and they, it lives you clean there the floor and it still looks dirty it does it's so it hard. always looks dirty like, yeah what is going like yeah it, yeah yeah and there's like that one spot where it's like this That's and it'll catch your toe if you're not walking oh, right yeah i wear shoes in our house at all i mean slippers at all times in our house um because the one time i didn't i think i almost broke my foot it was so bad. Oh, the kids have tripped on the floor. Like, literally walk on the <laughs> floor and trip. Like, yeah. what the heck? You're like, no, it's just... I don't know. I just, you know, just, you know the, the floor is uneven a little bit right yeah. there because that's the split face of the rock. Okay. Right, yeah. Like, it's the style. It's not like something is coming off. It's like, no, it's supposed no, to be... That's, that's it. Best part is they were at the zoo. And <laughs> they right. look... And then Caitlin sent us a picture and she's like, look familiar. The zoo has the same floor. Same floor. Exactly. I mean, it's durable. It is. It's, it is made for walking around a lot. Um, and in a zoo, it would be totally appropriate to put in. But in a house, it's harder. So, to say the least. Um, oh, but here's a recommendation from Jamie. Make the floor wet first. It'll help with the dust. Did you do that? I don't think you did last time. That sounds like an even bigger mess, to be honest. Because <laughs> then you have a slurry. Oh, like a sludge? Yeah, I don't know. That's Yes, it would help with the dust. But I don't if that would make it I don't way you want more do noxious it. to clean up. Mm-hmm. Because then it's like smeared yeah. everywhere. Well, I just kids wore, like I did this like I did that whole respirator thing, mm-hmm. which worked okay. Mm-hmm. Just open a window. Nice thing is that this is completely closed off from the rest of the house. Yeah, thank so there's God. no dust intrusion into the living space, mm-hmm. which is fantastic. Yeah. Also, from like safety standpoint for our children, to being like we have a do- where it used to be open. It's so weird to think now. That there used to not be a door there, but now there's a door. Yeah, there used to be a closet there. I know. Um, we, this is outside. You realize that? Yeah, we're I'm sitting, outside right now. We're literally sitting outside. No, I'm sitting on where the... Um, Sit on top of the generator. Generator right now. Yeah. <laughs> it's very weird to think about that. Yeah. Like, this is a completely outside. This whole scaffold. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird. Um, I forgot what I was saying. That you love me? That I love you. That is what I was saying. That is it. I Today is Friday and it's Lent, so what does that mean? Fish day. Fishy, fishy God, day. Fish. Oh, I know. I'm so excited. Next week we're doing a fish fry, so we probably won't do a live because, well, maybe we will. I don't know. I just don't know what time the fish fry starts at church, so I'm excited. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So I'm, for all you, I'm framing an addition. <laughs> you're still going to the fish fry. <laughs> 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 All the material showed up today. It did? Okay, good. Yeah, the truck dropped mm-hmm. it off. We got mm-hmm. some more LVLs, mm-hmm. everybody's favorite, the orange Paduke the beams, uh, some more mm-hmm. floor joist things, mm-hmm. and, you know, everyone's favorite OSB. Oh, shoot. I have 11 favorites. We should go. Oh, God, hurry gonna, up. Well, I, go. I was quick, leaving some stuff quick, for you. Rapid fire. Okay. Before you have to this go. one's really fast. You'll answer it. From okay. Andrew. Yes. Matt, will you do the cabinet to yourself? Great content. I answered it. The answer was yes, but you... I said, I said yes. You jumped you're, ahead. As you were talking. Okay. Yes, cabinets for me. Yes. Everything mm-hmm. is, all the finish is me. Cabinets, maybe flooring, trim, the bench, mm-hmm. the tables. Yep. From Mark, did you or are you getting a lot of snow? Snow? Yep. Uh, like recently? Yep. No, not really. I don't know. I don't mm-hmm. think so. No, we're good. It's kind of nice. Uh, we're finally. Snow. But you did do the pond and the ice skating, and that we was We had cool. a thaw, and then we had... A freeze again, mm-hmm. and I guess we had like a, a low spot in the field, which turned into like a pond that froze, so it had a little ice rink. Mm-hmm. I found the skates. Yeah. Put them on, went a little skating action last night. It was actually kind of fun. And ice skating is really like close to our hearts. Why? Oh, well, I asked you to marry me on skates. Yeah, we were ice skating. We used to ice skate every Wednesday yeah, when we were in college. You wouldn't let me do it. What? Wouldn't let you what? Ask you to marry me. You oh. were too busy skating. 
I was having too much so fun. We're, we're here to skate. We're not here to mess around. <laughs> That's not what I said. <laughs> <laughs> I got to have to get my laps in. Yeah, I was like, come on. I'm trying to compete. <laughs> no. I didn't know that's what he was going to do, but he kept saying, get to the center of this, the, and you the pond. I was like, you can't. That's, you're not allowed to because that's for figure skaters um, for practicing. That's what I am. <laughs> All right. I'm part of the club. So, yeah, he, uh, he pushed it. <laughs> he, had to, he was worried he was going to have to propose in the parking lot, but he did not. I would have so, done it. You would have or wouldn't have? I definitely would have. Oh, I thought you said I wouldn't have. I would have just waited. I had the ring in my pocket, and it was very uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> this is, like, the sweetest comment from Gary. The whole world is watching now. There are folks from every continent on here. I love seeing my sticker on your workshop wall. That's so sweet. i got to get that back. Yeah, we still have it. Your, your sticker is safe. It's in the barn. Right. With all the other things yeah. that need to get arranged before... Or need to get like arranged because I just threw them all in the barn mm-hmm. when we moved. Right. We're still dealing with the fallout of moving. <laughs> and by we, mostly Matt. See, my stuff is put away. Matt sort of owns a lot of stuff. <laughs> I got rid of a lot of stuff. Yeah, you did get rid of a lot though. That is true. Um, all right, I have to go. But I just loved Gary's, Gary's comment. I just thought it's just. It was very good. It's it is. Very it sweet. still is good. It's still. Thank you, good. Gary. All right, I'll do this and then I'm gonna go and you can do the rest. All right. How many are there? There's like eight. They're fast. Um, From Disabled Global Challenge, loving how the house is taking shape. Thank you. I think he's doing a good job, too. Uh Uh-huh. This is going to be really fast. Did you ever put the bridge port back together from Don? I have not yet. That is on my... That is on a not to do for a long time. The short to-do list. It's short now? I I want to get it. I need it out of the way. Oh. Because it takes up less space when it's put together. Mm -hmm. Surprise. And mom and dad, please go pick up the fishies now. My parents are coming and bringing fish from Kolovsky's, which if you live in the area, that's a good place to get fishies. But don't come to our and take all the fish because you have to get there early or it's gone. You put an ass mat in here? I know. that. Save that one. Timber also. selection considerations. <laughs> what sort of considerations are you thinking about, Paul? May we request a response in the form of an interpretive dance. I don't think you want to see my interpretive dance. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense. A lot of gyrating. There's a lot of there's a lot of interpretation <laughs> on your on your part for sure. Chris is just wrapping up his kitchen remodel. How we stay insane? We're staying sane because we still have a kitchen. I think that helps a lot. We're very fortunate that the only thing we lost was an entryway and a big giant living space. So the great room and the entryway are gone, and then the rest of the house, the bedrooms, the kitchen, the dining room, the living room, the office, all that stuff is still its own house, essentially. So that, that helps a lot. Uh, where'd you put the rest of these? Another one from Gary. Thank you, Gary, yet again. You could really light the fire by using a CNC router to call the parts and use pocket screws to join the face frames. That is the line that I am teetering on. Do I pay Don weekly or after each stage? Whenever he invoices me. I'll get this out of here. Here we go. From Mark. Hi, Matt. Wish I lived closer. I love to look at all your slabs, but the freight to Southern California is too expensive. Maybe it is. Maybe in the end it's still cheaper because the wood is less than we would pay in Southern California. There's that. Most of my slabs end up in California. Serious upgrade to the audio. This is the microphone is sitting on right there. Pretty fancy. That's the weird thing about March, is it's like the crapshoot month. It could be warm and beautiful, or it could just like descend back into winter. You never know. But if it goes back into winter, more riding, which I like. Jason, we are uh, just outside of Stillwater. So a couple hours south of you. Thank you, Scott. I think uh, I think we do pretty well together. 
I think that was it that Lindsay saved for me. Yep, that's it. All right. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. If you uh, didn't already, the link down there is good for tomorrow's video if you want to check that out early. Otherwise, I will see you when I see you, I guess, or something like that. <laughs> have a good one. Uh, I keep waving.